by definition what she did is prostitution but the women in the comments when dudes are calling it prostitution they're saying it's not what the fuck has the world this is what the dating market is today and i'm confused y'all i'm legit confused well you can tell by the title that i have officially had my heart broken for the third time in my life behind Aaliyah passing away and the Eagles losing the Super Bowl last year because my most recent crush, used to be crush, Sexy Red, lost points in value with me. Why? Because of who she let smash. Now, I know some people may, you know, find this to be a immature take when you kind of look at someone different after they smash someone but that's definitely real especially for dudes like dude you ever like see a chick that like let like someone smash that's i don't know just probably a cornball or a lame and you like i don't even want to hit it no more i don't even want to go at her no more well that's what happened with me um if you don't know by now she let the streamer dude aiden ross hit and he came out with it and it was like okay it could have just been him you know chasing clout or whatever because he's a he's a streamer that's kind of what he does but then she confirmed which we'll get into later so he came out said he hit she confirmed he actually did hit and the dude lame if you ask me to do lame as hell he's like i mean you wouldn't expect sexy sexy red to hit bro like i don't know if he white albanian whatever but i don't know he just he just to me he, he, he looked like a lame I know he has a large following. He has a lot of money. I'm not saying he's not. I'm not saying he's not successful. I'm just saying, to me personally, he gives off cornball vibes, right? Now, again, sexy red. I like. I know she's. I know she ain't no virgin. She just had her second child, but not the same dude that she got pregnant the first time, because that dude in jail. Like she like hood dudes. She a hood chick and all that. So that's cool. Like I, there's a video out with some dude with dread smashing. Her. That is what it is. But like when you see someone that you know is in the public eye and it kind of like gives off lame vibes, you're like, eh, shorty, I don't even really, I don't even want to pursue it no more. So for those who don't know, recently I have found a liking to Sexy Red, especially when she was pregnant. When Sexy Red first came out, and for those who don't know, Sexy Red is Pound Town, I left Pound Town, pink booty hole brown. That's, that's Sexy Red. Fuck my baby daddy. All that shit. That's sexy red. Real ratchet chick. Real ratchet chick. And I don't even like ratchet chicks. I don't like hood chicks. Right? Which is kind of contradicting myself. I don't. And when she first came out, I was like, what the fuck? Nah. But that pregnancy glow. When sexy red was pregnant with her most recent child, she had that pregnancy glow. She didn't have all the piercings and the fake hair and the glasses. She was rocking a natural face look. And I'm like, damn, Sexy Red is actually pretty as fuck for real. I think she's very pretty. Like straight up, her natural face, her natural look is the shit. When she does all the extra stuff with the piercings and the glasses and the tattoos and the hair, I'm not really fond of that. But when she had her natural look and she had that pregnancy glow, I, I, was, I was stunned. I'm not going to lie. I was like, damn, like I legit had a crush on her. And I said had because of what recently took place. I really did have a crush on her straight up like her natural look and that pregnancy glow like women i don't know like when women are pregnant it's just god damn like i know they get insecure about themselves when they're pregnant and all that but i, I don't know man it's that pregnancy glow man it's, it, it does something not to mention like she she is unapologetically her she really is and i find that to be attractive um i'm a very micro content creator podcaster but i am nonetheless a content creator and podcaster so i understand like the courage if you would it takes of being unapologetically you and i only have a few thousand few thousand people looking at me she has millions right so i under like the pressure for her is magnified times 10 a hundred a thousand right a million like me it's just a few people that look at me and i'm unapologetically and i get people left and right talking shit all that it comes with it i'm like eh, but i don't know she's unapologetically her she's a hood chick she love hood shit and she don't give a fuck about what nobody think or what nobody got to say and that is attractive but nonetheless um like i said dude came out said he hit it and she confirmed now here's the thing about the whole sexy red smashing aiden ross thing right because he said he smashed cool and people are like is it true then she tweeted quote you paid me to take your virginity 
and I did just that. Dot, 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 next, yawn emoji, unquote. Here's the thing with that. I mean, is prostitution legal at this point? And like, I don't, I'm so confused as to what is and what isn't prostitution. Because by definition, this is prostitution. But you have women in the comments responding to her tweet talking about some, yes, bitch, get that bag and dip off on them. Easy come up, easy check. Uh, he a simp, that was too easy. Yes, run it up. But in the same breath, those women, if you take them to Sugar Creek over here in Charlotte or Figaro in LA and they see a hoe walking the strip, then they would like call her a degenerate. Like they would look down upon them, even though they're doing the same shit that women are doing today. Like today is all about transactions and payments. That's all it is, whether it's dating or fucking or anything in between. And it's like, that's so like the norm with women nowadays. Like you're not getting no ass without money. If you have some money, you're going to get some ass. Is that not prostitution? The definition of prostitution is the practice or occupation of engaging in sexual activity with someone for payment. Tricking. I, I, I'm so baffled and confused. Like I need help. Can y'all please tell me in the comments? Let me know what the fuck is and what isn't prostitution. Because what she did is prostitution. By definition, what she did is prostitution. But the women in the comments, when dudes are calling it prostitution, they're saying it's not. They're saying that dude is a simp and she just got an easy check. What the fuck has the world... This is what the dating market is today. <laughs> and I'm confused, y'all. I'm legit confused. Please provide some clarity for your boy. Drop a comment if you're watching this. If you're listening to this, you can either drop a comment on my IG or my YouTube because I'm going to post it to both. I don't, I don't know. What's, what is and what isn't prostitute? I don't get it because they're saying yes. They're, they're applauding to this. But when an actual prostitute is on the street, they look down upon them. And they're, they're like trying to like, put an imaginary line between a real prostitute and these modern day prostitutes that call it dating or getting their worth or whatever the fuck they call it. I don't, I don't know. I need help y'all. I need help understanding where the fuck we are today with this modern day prostitution shit. Cause that's what it is. Y'all can sit up here and try to dress it up. You can try to put glitter on shit, but it's still shit and it still stink. You're not fooling me. It's modern day prostitution. I don't care what y'all, but help me understand why it isn't according to y'all. Is it a pride thing? Why you can't just say, yes, it's prostitution. Is it a pride thing? Because real hoes, real stomp downs, they're going to say they, they hoeing. They're going to say they tricking. They're going to say what it is. That's why I respect real prostitutes. I respect real whores, right? Sex workers, I respect the fuck out of them. Because for one, they're going to they, they put you on. But that's a whole nother conversation. But uh, nonetheless, I just need help, y'all. Help me understand what's going on. My heart is broken. I no longer have a crush on Sexy Red because of this. Because due to lame, she lost points to me. She lost a little bit of value to me by letting dude smash. So I no longer have a crush on Sexy Red. I have to find another chick out here that I, find I have a crush on. And I'm going to just end it like this. Like, I'm not saying I would have married Sexy Red, no. But I did legit have like a little slight crush on her. Like, she looked good. She had that pregnant glow. But nonetheless, drop a comment. Uh, tune in whether you're watching or listening. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, share this out, the whole ordeal. <sighs> yeah, until next time, we out. Peace.